Well, hey guys, we wanna do something a little different in this video. We wanna share some of the ideas we have for upcoming videos and get your feedback on them. Like you can tell us if you actually want these videos or if you don't want these videos or if you want something else. So be sure to put all that in the comments as we go through this video. All right, so one thing you guys have already asked us for is vocal tuning for your live stream mix. So Dylan, do you think we actually need to tune vocals for a live stream mix or are you guys just like perfect already? Well, I'm pretty good, but... <laughs> but for our other vocals, we need to do that, right? Yeah, everybody else. So vocal tuning is actually something that we've never done here at our church, but it's something we're gonna try or we're willing to try for you guys and we will document the process as we go through it. And kind of how it works is you have to connect your X32 to your computer and then you run your vocal tuning software on the computer and then send it back through the mixer. It sounds complicated, but it's actually not too bad. Um, so yeah, if you want to, if you want us to do that video, just drop that down in the comments. Say we want vocal tuning and we'll do that for you. And I'll drop a clip of my vocals on a Sunday morning. You can tell me if I actually need it. <laughs> I probably do. Another idea is how to reset your entire mix. Maybe things are just messed up and you're just not even quite sure where to go from this point forward. So you just wanna start fresh. If you'd like to see a video of me resetting an entire mix and then building it from the ground up, let us know in the comments. We can bring that to you as well. Okay, so recently I got this cool new device that is a pad generator. And so typically pan down here, let me show you. Typically we would have our pads run off of our backing track app. So if we wanted to have one of those heavenly encore moments <laughs> where, you know, the song ends and you want to keep praising uh, with the same chords or you want to maybe go back into it, uh, we would just add a pad after the song and the band would continue to play behind that pad just to kind of fill in some blank space. But it's not very convenient and it's um, not very intuitive either. So then I found this cool device and it's called the Atmosphere the aerospace atmosphere and it's a pad generator so you got your different sounds where you change with your patch and this is foot controlled obviously and you also have your different keys every single key and you set your patch set your key hit engage it beautifully fades in and then while that one's playing you can change your patch change your key and when you hit engage it cross fades to the next one and it's really nifty and we've had a lot of fun with it so far so if you want to see a video on that and what it's like, let us know and we'll make one. Another common question we get is how do you bring a new team member onto the team? Like what's their first Sunday supposed to look like? We've actually already have a entire video series on that and it's part of our Church Sound Made Simple course. There's an onboarding made simple course inside of that training and that's how you get a brand new team member, somebody who knows nothing about mixing up and running in about nine weeks. We actually just recently did this. We use this same system at our church. We have a 16 year old guy. He wanted to be part of the sound team. He went through Church Sound Made and Simple, the onboarding made simple course. And last week was his first week on his own after he completed those nine weeks. And he created probably one of the best mixes that I've ever heard. No joke. What do you think, Dylan? How'd it sound last week? Well, I couldn't hear it because I was on the stage. Dang it. Well, I guess you're just gonna have to trust me. I thought it sounded great and I had nothing to do with it. I actually, didn't even stay here for rehearsal that day. I just wanted to come to church and see what it sounded like. And I was pleasantly surprised. So what in the world do you do whenever you have a new vocalist or a new instrument coming onto the team? Maybe you want to see a video like that. What does it look like to get them set up on their first Sunday playing or singing? If you'd like to see a video like that, drop it in the comments, let me know. So as you can tell, our sound booth is a little bit ratchet. Um, we have a folding table for our sound booth <laughs> with some black tablecloths. Clearly we've been a little lazy with how things are set up back here, but we're gonna do a remodel. So if you wanna see us go through that process, let me know in the comments and we'll show you what that's like. Sometimes the band lets me sing. In that case, it's really hard to pick which mic I wanna use. What I need most is the auto tune though. So, you know, we already talked about that. We actually just recently picked up this new mic. It's the Shure KSM8. And what it is, it's kind of a hybrid between a dynamic microphone and a condenser microphone. Quite a bit of technology going on in this guy, which is why it's like four times more expensive than say the Shure SM58 or the Sennheiser, what is this, E835. These are about a hundred bucks. This one was like 400 bucks. And we've had my wife 
used this one for about a month now, and I can tell a huge difference. Her vocal's a lot cleaner, it's a lot smoother, and it's a lot warmer. And with the other people on the stage still using the older mics, you can just really tell a difference. Hers just kind of like punches through compared to theirs. So now we got to figure out the budget for getting everybody one of these. But if you'd like to see a video where we actually compare these and you can hear the difference between the two, just let us know. We want a microphone comparison video. So Dylan, as the worship leader here, um, how do you keep these drums in tip top shape? That's a good question. Cause one, I don't play drums and two, I know nothing about tuning them. <laughs> That's a problem. Yeah, so we have a guy and uh, he knows a lot about drums. And so I give him a ring and I'm like, yo, uh, you wanna come up here and help me out with this? And he does, and he's really good at it. So we had the idea to make a video with him in it. His name is Matt and have him explain some drum tuning tips, some setup tips, how to get the most out of the way things are set up and all that good stuff. So if you wanna see a video like that, let us know. So this is actually something that I used to try to do by myself and it never went really well. I tried to change the drum heads, I'd be up here for hours, and then they still wouldn't sound very good. So I finally called our local drum shop, said, hey, come help me out. And they came out and they changed the heads and had them sounding the best they've ever sounded in a matter of like five minutes. So y'all, it's worth it. If you wanna see our drum guy come out and do this thing, let us know. So over the years, we've learned quite a bit about filming and editing. If you don't know, that's basically what I'm in charge of at Collaborate Worship is what things look like. Um, Kay's in charge of how they sound basically because he's a sound expert. Um, but we've gotten some questions about, you know, like what equipment we use, how we get things to look the way that they do. Um, so if you'd like a, some tips on, you know, what kind of gear to use, maybe if it's for your church live stream or if you're shooting other kind of content for your church or what kind of editing program is best because we shoot in, we're, we edit in Premiere and in Final Cut. Um, or maybe just some editing tips, whatever. Let us know if you'd like to see any kind of content related to video. And I personally would love to make some stuff like that because I'm passionate about it. We also want to introduce you to another one of our team members real quick. So walk back here with me down the dungeon. We joke around that he works back here in the dungeon and he doesn't get to come out. But wait, does. wait, I gotta show something else first. That's where we put all of our stuff to make the videos look nice. That always on the stage. It's <laughs> <laughs> our secret. <laughs> so come back here. And this is Mason. Mason! Mason is our slave, our video editing slave. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> what you working on, Mason? Well, I'm trying to crack open one of your projects, but apparently it's busted, so. Thanks, Dylan. That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you busted my project, man. <laughs> So yeah, we make him work back here where there's no video, or no videos, where there's no windows. <laughs> Actually, he chose this room. <laughs> but hey, it is like a, a thousand square feet, so he has a pretty big office. <laughs> it's true. I don't have a good view, but it's pretty big. Lots of room, <laughs> so lots of room to pace. Mason really helps make the dream work because I'm the creative director, so I figure out how we want things to look and how we want things to be creative. And then Mason does kind of all the grunt work. So if we have videos that you gotta do the same thing to all of them. Mason's back here doing all that and that's what he enjoys doing. So it's a good partnership because I don't like doing that kind of stuff. <laughs> Before you feel sorry for this guy though, he actually loves the recurring stuff. He says, don't make me do anything creative. I wanna do the stuff that I do over and over again. We're like, great. I like to do the boring <laughs> stuff as I like to say. He hates it. I love it. Well, there you have it. That was a lot of ideas, but what we need to know is the top two or three of the ones we just mentioned so we know where to go next. So just let us know down in the comments what you want. We'll tally those up and we'll bring those videos to you. In the meantime, be sure to check out the two videos that we just posted all about drums. We talked about how to communicate with your drummer, how to get the right energy and things like that out of them, and also what sticks to use. There's a whole bunch of different sticks you can use. They all have different purposes. We compare all of them in detail. So if you wanna see those, just click on them right over here. Wait, Mason? Probably ought to let him know, huh? <laughs>